Key Minnesota leaders say the state's top law enforcement agency has failed to follow the law when it comes to counting untested rape kits. They're reacting to a CARE 11 investigation that revealed the BCA may have seriously undercounted the number of kits that haven't been tested for DNA. I'm I'm stunned. That's former Senator Vicki Jensen, the lead author of this 2015 state law requiring a full accounting of untested rape kits. She's reacting to the news that the Minnesota BCA may have missed more than a thousand kits. I felt like we were not taken seriously. Somebody needs to find out what happened. Lawmakers mandated a full count and detailed reasons why each rape kit was not tested for DNA. My expectation was that we count them all. Former House Majority Leader Aaron Murphy and says a full count was important to see how much it would cost to actually test all the kits. So we would have an understanding of what the problem was here in Minnesota and could figure out a path to make sure that every one of those rape kits was tested. Back then, BCA reported finding nearly 3,500 untested kits across the state. But fast forward four years, and CARE 11's investigation uncovered records showing the BCA failed to include other kits they called partially tested for serology, the presence of bodily fluids, but never tested for DNA. Should partially tested kits have been counted and disclosed to the public? Absolutely. They had to be. We wanted them on the report so that they could tell us why. So if a kit had not been tested for DNA, it was supposed to be counted? Absolutely. The BCA disagrees, saying in an email, the 2015 count of unsubmitted untested kits and our review of tested kits are two completely different things. But just look at the 2015 law. It says the definition of an untested kit included any kit that has been submitted to the Bureau for DNA analysis, but the analysis has not been completed. I don't believe the letter of the law was followed. Murphy was one of the co-sponsors of the 2015 law. She doesn't buy the BCA's explanation that partial testing should count as full DNA testing. I think for the public and especially for victims seems like splitting hairs. We've asked for an on-camera interview with BCA Superintendent Drew Evans, but so far he has not agreed. Now this issue of not counting all the untested kits is just a small part of what we're uncovering about missteps in the handling of sexual assault cases. Journalist Brandon Stahl and I are partnering on a series of reports we'll be bringing you in the coming weeks and months. You can read Brandon's reporting on care11.com. Well, victims of sexual assault who need help can f head to rapehelpmn.org to find an advocate near them. We have that link posted in the story at care11.com.